him glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. I'm sure you didn't leave home to show your pretty dress and your pretty suit. But you come to give God praise because today you could have been a victim. You could. You could. So many things could have happened. You could have lost your mind. So many are depressed. But you all are wrong.
one more time. One more day. blood of the Lord, in the blood. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing for? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb?
We had for our Sunday school topic, it was our ransom, the blood of Jesus. Oh, that ransomed us. Oh, this morning, we've got so much to thank him for. The blood of bulls and heifers and cattle and turtle doves could not wash away the sins of man, could not purify the conscience of man. But Jesus came and he gave the ultimate sacrifice. He gave his blood he shed his blood he left his heavenly glory and he came to earthly domain oh hallelujah at this time we're going to read Psalm 37 bless your name Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord hey Kosha we bless you if you find it we'll read fret not thyself because of evildoers neither be thou envious against workers of iniquity for they shall soon be cut off and wither as the green herb trust in the lord and do good so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Praise the Lord. We're going to sing again 192. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. To God be the glory, great things he has sung, so loved he the world that he gave us his son, who lived dead his life and Oh. 
bless this house today let your presence saturate every soul let your presence saturate the atmosphere of God and every stronghold and every strong man that will want to stand and to hinder the praise and to hinder the blessing oh God we praise you that your presence oh God will destroy them and you will get the glory and you will get the honor bless and sanctify 
bless us oh god bless everything that will be said and done bless every the one who will bring forth your words let it go forth with power let it go forth with boldness let it accomplish where to you sent it yeah, and i know it won't return to you void and so we give you thanks we give you praise in jesus name hallelujah we bless you this morning Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It, it is imperative that everyone keeps the mask, keep the mask on. Everyone, 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 everybody, keep the mask on. It's a protocol. Cover your mouth, cover your nose. Covering your mouth alone will not work. Cover your nose and your mouth. Unless you are up here conducting the service. Or you, you're singing over here on the choir. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. T today, it's really a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. And I just want to welcome those who are on Facebook and Zoom and whatever might be the media, social media that you are watching us. May you derive a blessing from this service today. May your souls be blessed. May your souls be watered. And if you are watching and you are not saved, I, I, I pray today that your hearts will be touched and you know, you'll give God a chance in your lives because we know there's no better way than to serve the Lord. We recognize that these are the signs of the times. What is happening around us is telling us, is opening up our eyes that it is closer to the end. The rapture can take place at any time. So if you are not saved on social media, give God a chance in your life. And to all of us in the house, no, okay. And to all who are in the house, you are welcome. You could have chosen to stay home, but you know, God has given you the mind. You didn't come here just on your own. It was God who put it in your mind to be here today. And so, let your hearts be blessed as the service progresses. And at this time, we have some late babies, <laughs> late, late persons with babies to be blessed. And at this time, I'm going to call our elder. Hey, Koshata. Oh, Boshaya. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm just asking the family if you could just come and. Stand here in the front. Praise God. You know, it's a tradition where we usually take the babies and hold them in our hands and bless them. But because of the pandemic, because of the virus going around, we no longer take the babies in our hand, but we pray and we stretch our hands towards them. Praise God. And so I'm about to begin by reading a passage of scripture from the book of St. Luke chapter 2. And I'll be reading from verses 21 and to verse 35. 
and it reads, and when the eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named after the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of our purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that hope in the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice, according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy words. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign we shall be spoken. Yea, a soul shall pierce through thine own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. I'm just going to ask my singers just to sing our theme song one more time. I think when I read a sweet story of all, when Jesus was here among men. I think when I read the sweet story of old, when say to the parents what I'm about to do is the example of Christ as a child he was brought into the temple to be to 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 to, to be presented to the Lord and in those times they used to do a lot of sacrificial things like they would take a two young turtle dove or two young pigeons and they would sacrifice that and then they will do all sorts of rituals over, over, over the child but there comes Simeon in the temple he was led by the spirit of God and he took the child in his arms and he blessed him, you know, and pronounced a blessing upon his life and prophesied over his life. So what we're about to do, it, 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 is some, it is something biblical, you know, and one of the things that we do when we pray for a child is that, you know, when that child come of age, you know, that, that child will accept the, accept the Lord as his or her personal Lord and Savior. And so we put this question to the parents. If when this child come of age and want to serve the Lord, Will you do anything to stop this child from serving the Lord? Praise God, praise God. What is the name of the child? Andre Solomon. Oh, glory. Could we just all bow our heads? Heavenly Father, we adore you. We exalt your name and we lift up your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, we give you thanks, Lord Jesus, for being a God who loves and cares for your people, for being a God who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Lord Jesus, as we come in your presence this morning, Lord Jesus, we present young Andre Solomon before you, Lord Jesus, a child in the stage of innocence, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, we pray, oh God, that your many, many blessings, Lord Jesus, will be upon him, Lord Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, that your mercies will surround him, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, I present him before you, Lord Jesus, as a
special child, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I pray, oh God, that they will find favor, Lord God, in your sight at an early age, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I pray, oh God, that you will be prosperous in this life, Lord God. Oh God, as I present him in your hands, Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, that your mercies will surround him, Lord God. And wherever he goes, Lord Jesus, he shall be a special child unto you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I pray most of all, Lord Jesus, that at an early age, Lord God, oh God, he will come to the recognition of you, Lord Jesus, and accept you, Lord God, as his personal Lord and Savior. I pray for the parents this morning and the guardians also, Lord, that if they have not yet known you, Lord Jesus, as their personal Lord and Savior, I pray, Lord Jesus, that they will come to the acknowledgement of you sooner than later, Lord Jesus. Oh God, and bring up this child, Lord God, in the way you should go. Oh God, I bless and sanctify your name, Lord Jesus, and give right, oh Lord, for the many, many blessings that you may bestow upon this child. I give you thanks this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Evangelist, you can just have a seat and Evangelist Perry will come to you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, you're still down there. We're still here to worship. We're still here to give God glory. We're still here to praise him. We don't know about tomorrow. We don't know about next week. We don't even know about the next minute, but we know about right now. And at this time, I'm going to ask the praise team to sing a few worship chorus for us. Hallelujah. I've got somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day.
Sometimes they have to water it. So it's not just coming in church and you jump and you sing and you shout. You've got things to do. You've got to read the word. You've got to fast. You've got to pray. You say, well, maybe I read the words and I don't understand. Well, that's why you have to come to church. That's why you have to seek the Lord that he will open your understanding to the word. And so today we got to be rooted. We got to be grounded. We got to be rooted. In this time, pandemic time. If you're not rooted and grounded. 
you are going to be removed because there are so many things that are being spoken are, are, are talked about and, and some of them we don't even understand some of them I don't understand but you know I just want to be rooted and grounded in the Lord because he will see us through bless the Lord I welcome our bishop and our elder in our midst bishop you're my idol in the sense that you know you 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 give me that push there's this song says you are the wind beneath my wings you give me that push to go on for the lord because at your age you're still worshiping and pursuing after god <laughs> At this time, I'm going to ask him to greet the church in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, Praise glory Lord. to God. Praise the Lord. Um, so I'm blessed to be. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The of the Lord. I enter into his gate of thanksgiving. Thank you. And the courts of praise. Yes. I come here to. No, I want to praise God. Hallelujah. Who, Thank you. Who gave his life a ransom for me. Oh, bless praise the name God. of Jesus. Yes. I bless yes. God for giving yes, me his life a ransom for me. Yes. For God so loved Thank the world you. that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Who Thank you, Jesus. In him should not perish. If you don't believe, it's up to you. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Praise yeah. God. Whosoever believeth in him should not Lord perish, perish. but have everlasting life. Have everlasting God life. bless you. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to collect our day's offering. And I'm going to ask Evangelist. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Sister Perry. At this time, we normally give out some love baskets and that is Sister Evangelist Perry's baby. And so at this time, I'm gonna call her to the, to the podium. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory. What a mighty God we serve. Mighty. Hallelujah. Mighty As the songwriter says, Give it with love, story to love. Give it with a willing mind. Give it with love, music, story to love. Give it with a willing mind. Give it with love, story to love. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, story to love. Give it with a willing
not allowed today to pass you by. You Hallelujah. never can tell what the future holds Amen. for you. Never know. It is never just know. for you to give your heart to the Lord. We have been wearing masks all along. We don't know how long we'll have to wear this thing, but it has become a part of our garment. No. <laughs> but listen to me. We have some Christians in the church who are wearing invisible masks. <laughs> when the Lord put in his appearance, you will be left behind. So you have to shake up yourselves. But examine yourself, praising, <laughs> praising for those of you who are wearing invisible masks. This mask is visible. We can see it. But some Christians only come to church and deep under the cover, they are not really true. Oh my God. So if you are wearing an invisible mask in your Christian life, take it off and live godly yes. and sober the rapture is near at hand yes. nobody knows nobody knows nobody knows when the lord will put in the parents and some will be left behind it will be a terrible time for those who are left behind if you should go to revelation 6 to 19 you will see you will see what is there for those who are left behind. Brethren and friends, some people are afraid to read the revelation, but tell you the truth, get down to it, brethren, and read and shape up yourself for eternity. God bless you. Yes, the Praise Lord. the Lord, I'm not the messenger today. Praise God. Praise the Lord. We have some baskets here. You know, brethren, I'm so glad for those who have contributed to the basket. So many people have been contributing, contributing here in Jamaica. And I have a friend who called sometime, you know, there's this person who sent something from abroad to help with the basket of which we are grateful. Bless the Lord. My God, there are times when I look around, I hardly see anything at all. But I tell you by the second Sunday is nearby, God has provided. Yes. And here today we have 11 baskets oh, to be God. distributed. Praise God. Praise God. God is blessing us. I am really thankful for those of you who have given what you have. And Amen. those of you who are not contributing, think about it. And you know, the Lord will bless you as you give. Your store basket will ever, will never go empty. Praise the Lord. I am not going to call out the names of the people who will be getting the baskets today, but I'm going to call Sister Daly. Sister Daly across there, please come, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to come and bless this basket for me. The other baskets are inside. Sister Daly, come. Yes, ma'am. Please come and bless the baskets for us. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Yes, ma'am. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, oh, Jesus. God. I just pray. Just pray. Let's pray like Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. Praise the Lord, everyone. God. It is good to be here lifting up the Lord's name because we could have been otherwise minded. Amen. And we thank each and every one who are here. This morning, I am really pleased to bless the basket over there and bless those who have contributed to it. We hope that their basket will never empty and that the Lord will always provide for them. And we, we pray for the person who will receive the basket that whatever is whatever is in it will be grateful in jesus name we pray amen
know, it's a task for me to drive around and drop off these baskets. But sometimes we have deacons who assist us. So um, it's so good that we have them. So I will have to be going around and uh, drop off some of these baskets. And there are some people who are here who can collect for others. I will pass on the baskets to you. And uh, please, whenever you hand out a basket, I'm asking you, collect the basket immediately. Because if we do not have the containers to put in that stuff, then we cannot hand out any basket. So many baskets are out although we are handing out some today. So if you know anybody who has any of these baskets, please collect it for me and bring it in Jesus' name. I would just like to greet everybody on social media. May you have a good day. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We give God glory. We give him the praise. He's worthy worthy to be praised at this time i'm going to ask evangelist what's uh dennis or to bless the day's offering just hold up your hands by faith hallelujah I need you to believe God for what you're about to receive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I received it in the name. And I know your hands are blessed. And you are blessed. Anything you touch, when you touch your pocket, when you touch your purse, before you go into your pocketbook or your wallets, or even sometimes people carry their money in their pockets. Just say, you are blessed and I receive what God is about to give me by faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, the almighty, the savior, the creator, the way maker, the one who makes money. Oh God almighty, you have it in your storeroom. My God, this day as we, your people, are come right now before you lifting their hands to you towards heaven knowing oh god that you are the way maker hallelujah you have done it already and you can do it again surprise your people god yes, yes. by that great blessings hallelujah. lord and i commanded the man greater and make a blessing upon them right now in the name of jesus you know their needs right now you know god their needs right now god father i'm asking you to shower it down and lord when they receive that blessing they will not go ahead and just eat the blessing but help somebody that have a need in the name of jesus as a matron by faith this moment god that you will stir them and that they will walk by faith and not by sight in jesus name amen hallelujah thank hallelujah. you jesus Hallelujah. Bless God. See you. 
And the only time you can say bye-bye is when you live in the word, is when you fast, is when you pray. It cannot be re-overemphasized, you know, because after a while, you just find your mind moving away, moving away from certain things and moving closer to the Lord. At this time, we have reached an important part in our service. We can never go without the word. Sometimes we can do without the singing, but we can't do without the word. You know, it's like when Minister 
Bingham said this morning, keep your hearts, keep your hearts, because in it is the issues of life. I may not be quoting it right, but you get the essence of what I'm trying to say. You know, you can, you don't have to keep your foot. You don't have to keep your hands. You don't have to keep your mouth. But you see, when you keep your heart, your feet are kept, your hands are kept, your lips are kept, your tongue is kept, because out of the heart, out of the heart pursue evil things. The heart is desperately wicked above everything else. And so keep your heart. At this time, we're going to have our evangelist to us at this time. At this time, evangelist Grant will come to come to us in Jesus' name. Evangelist Grant and the Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. Lord. Praise Lord, saints. It's indeed a privilege to be in service. I must greet my pastor, Bishop Nepal. Happy to see you, sir. Ella Barrett, Minister Binham. Missionaries, saints of God, accept greetings and salutations in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand with me. We're going to take our scripture from Genesis chapter 39, verses 6. That's Genesis chapter 9, verses 36. If you find it, please indicate me with an amen. I'll give you time. Say amen. All right. That's Genesis 39 verses 6. 39 verses 6. Finally, please indicate me that amen. amen. And we're going to read us together. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not how to save the bread. And she had. And Joseph was a goodly person. And he was well. He was well what? Favored. He was well what? Favored. Eternal Savior and our God. King of kings and Lord of lords. Conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, we come before you today, Lord, in humility. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you for a rhema word, Lord. Let your logos become a rhema today. We know, Lord, we cannot do it without you. And we ask you for a word today. Lord, not tomorrow, not another day, but today we beg of you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, God, there are souls here who need a word. And I ask you, Lord. As your priest standing before your people, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give me the unction to function, God. Sit on me, Holy Ghost, Lord. Let self be slain, Lord Jesus. In your wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day life I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up.
saints let's look at the person next to you and say i'm favored not but not only am i that i'm favored but i'm highly blessed i'm highly favored do you know that you're blessed today yes i am blessed I'm highly favored. look at the person next to you and say i am blessed i am blessed do you know that you're blessed yeah. Do you know that you're blessed? Sorry for those who think that they're not blessed. But I am blessed. Amen. You know, the Bible told us about Joseph. And the fact that his father gave him a coat of many colors. The Bible said that, ah, well, theologians said that they coat of many colors signify the gifts of the spirit or the fruits of the spirit but he was favored everywhere he go the fact that he was in his home his very family did not like him because he was favored i want you to know that when you are favored you will not be like but you have to press through anyhow because if you keep up with what you hear or the hair says, you will stop worshiping God. But what I love with, uh, with Joseph, he still loves his God. You cannot allow what is happening around you to stop worshiping God. Because if you stop worshiping God, you will lose your blessings. Can I see the Holy Ghost Church thus magnify the Lord? The fact that we are here today, we are blessed. I have seen in the different countries, churches have not opened as yet. That simply means that Jamaica is blessed. Can I see the house of the living God? Worship God for even that. We are at church today, we are blessed. And when the, the fact that uh, Joseph got it, he got dream, he was a dreamer. And he dreamed that the fact that his mother, father, and brothers will bow before him. Oh, God, that alone caused envy, strife, and covetousness. I want you to know that uh, when you're blessed, what is the, the, the persons that you have, uh, those who you think will be, have your back, will get at you. Ah, but Joseph fear God anyhow. Ah, there came a time when his brothers caught him and put him in a pit. And when he was put in the pit, a caravan of Ishmaelite went, was passing by and took him out. And they sold him to Pharaoh. And when they sold him to Pharaoh, he went into Potiphar's house. And when he went into Potiphar's house, I'm talking about favor was upon this young man's life. And because of the favor that was upon his life, the more favor that is on his life, the more people just don't like him. The more strive people speak against him. But he feared God. When he went in Potiphar's house, uh, uh, you know what happened. Potiphar's, the Bible said that he was a good looking man. And Potiphar's wife was seducing him. And his thing is, how can I do this wickedness and sin against my God? I know that what I have, I cannot allow the devil to stop me from worshiping God. I am not going to allow what the enemy or the adversary is planning to stop me from worshiping God. Because I know what my God can do. And I know the fact that my God is going to bless me. I'm not going to let Pharaohs or Potiphar's his wife stop me because my God will bless me with whatever I need and I see the church of the living God does magnify God because the fact 
that I, I, I am here, I know he's going to bless me. The, I, the fact that I'm standing here in the house of the kings, I know I'm going to be blessed. I don't know about you, but I know the Lord is going to bless me. Can I see the Holy Ghost Church magnify the Lord? Uh, so many folks uh, are down with COVID uh, not saying that we cannot get it but we are blessed uh, can I see the church uh, just magnify the Lord and Pharaoh Potiphar's wife framed him he took a piece of cloth from his raiment and when he took the cloth from his raiment he framed him and said you see this man was trying to seduce me to uh, to come into him but the bible said that because of this he was thrown in the prison even in the prison state you will be blessed even in your prison state you are highly favored Ah, my prison stay don't determine my future. Because I know what my future lie once God is in the midst. Can I see the church that's magnified the Lord? And the fact that he was in the prison, he did not allow what is happening around him to stop him from fearing God. I want you to know you cannot allow your test to stop you and allow you to be stagnant as it relates to God. Because God, when he get ready, you're going to shout. When he get ready, you're going to dance. When he get ready, you will have a song in your heart. Can I see the church? Just magnify the Lord. And the Bible said that when he was thrown in the prison, he was pushed up, he here was long. And the Bible said that the butler and the baker was thrown in the prison. I want you to know that a butler and baker is on the way. Despite of what is happening, it's on the way. Your deliverance in on is on the way. Can I hear the church of the living call? Just magnify the Lord. And the Bible said both of them had a dream not everybody should tell their dream because not everybody dream is good can I see the church just magnify the Lord I only have five more minutes and the Bible says that while he was there in prison the Bible said that the butler had a dream and the butler was back in his teeth and the baker had a dream he was still a few days I want you to know that whatever you're going through your blessing is on the way because I am favored and I know once God said it I can stand on his promises can I see the church of the living God just wave your hands and the Bible said that when he was thrown and the butler went, Pharaoh had a dream. And when Pharaoh had a dream, no one could not interpret it. I wanted to know that door fell and as you can see now it's the inting now he sent for the charmer the widows the soothsayers the necromancers and that's what is happening in the world today everybody believe in the obia man but there's no other man like my God because he knows the future can I see the church just wave your hand I'm not going to put my trust in no other man because God he can tell the future he knows the future I'm sorry for the Christians who believe in other man it's time for
for us to put our trust in God. Can I see the church? Let's worship the Lord. Do you know that the God has served? He can do anything. He can read anything. And if God give you a dream, no other man can tell you. You have to cut to his source. Can I see the church? Let us see the church just magnify the Lord. And the Bible says that while Pharaoh had the tree, the butler came and he said, Pharaoh, there's a situation that when I was in prison, there was a young boy who I had a dream. And when I had a dream, he interpreted the dream. That's why I'm here. The Bible says that Pharaoh sent and he fetched and he sent and fetched Joseph. Joseph had to clean his house. I want you to know that when your fever, even fear himself, will send Baba to trim you. Can I see the church? Let's magnify God. When you're highly fever, no devil can't touch you. When you're highly fever, your very enemy feed you. When you're highly fever, those who curse you will bless you. Can I see the church? Can I see the church? Wave your hand. I want you to know that when Pharaoh heard of this young man, he had to send for him quick because he wanted to know what this dream means. The Bible says that when Joseph, when Joseph came, Joseph said, What's the dream? He said, That's easy. That dream is from God himself. The astrologers, the magician, the soothsayers, the charmer and the wizard could not read it. But I want you to know that guess what? Few years, there'll be famine for seven years. And in the same way, the place will be dry. But I want you to know know that since you get the heads up just start saving some food I want you to know that when your time is dry look to God can I hear a church just wave your hand and shout a praise and the Bible says that Pharaoh had a dream when he had the dream and all this was fulfilled Joseph he came second to Pharaoh. This is a part I love. When Joseph family came and saw what happened. Joseph recognized his family. The Bible said that he turned around, he turned aside and wept. The life of Joseph here was teaching us that we should forgive each other. Despite of what they did to you, you have to forgive. And this is what is messing us up now. We don't learn to forgive. If you go back to basic, the Bible says love no other God but me. Amen. Love your as your back to basic. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you cannot give your forgive your neighbor, it is hard for you to love God. The Bible said that if you're going to bring a gift to the altar, Put the gift first at the altar and make it right 
with your neighbor. Sometimes the church is heavy because there's a lock of love and forgiveness. Can I hear the church? Just magnify the Lord. Persons cannot worship God because each time they look at the person next to them, they cannot wave their hand. Can I see the church just magnify the Lord? If you want a strong church to defeat the kingdom of darkness, we have to first go back to basic. Can I see the church of the living God just worship the Lord? And the Bible said that Joseph asked for his smaller brother. And he sent, told his brother to go and fetch him. He asked, are my father alive? They said yes. They did not recognize Joseph. You see, when God get ready, your very enemy will have to bow before you. Can I see the church just magnify the Lord? Your very enemy have to tell you sorry. Can I see the church just worship the Lord? Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Shata katobo sai. Shandai sikitobo sha. Joseph family. Came and he wept again. The fact that he had hatred in his heart for them. But guess what? All of that was removed when he saw what was happening. When he saw that the fact that they were hungry, they needed food to feed their father. He still loved them and he did what God, Jesus would do. He fed them. He hugged them. He cheered them. He said that I am he. And this is a dream that, we, that has been interpreted right now. You're bowing. The sun, the star, and the moon will bow before me. This is it. You're now bowing before me. But guess what? You met it for evil. If you did not throw me in the pit, I would not have met Pharaoh's wife. Have I not met Pharaoh's wife? Oh, I wouldn't go in the dungeon. If I did not go, didn't go in the dungeon, I would not met the butler and the baker. And if I did not met the butler and the baker, I would not met Pharaoh. And if, and if I did not, would not met Pharaoh, I would be standing here today. And because of this, I can say it is well. Look at the person next to you and say it, it is well. It is no more. I hate you no more. It is well. It is well. It is well. In this pandemic, it is well. Look at the person next to you and say it is well. The devil made it for evil, but it is well. It teaches us how to worship God more. In this pandemic, we realize that without church, sometimes we cannot even praise God. Can I see the church? When peace like a river attended my soul, when sorrows like billows roll, I can say after this, it is. Look at the person next to you and tell them it is. Because I'm favored. Everybody stand on their feet. 
Shata Hatabo Shata Shata Hikobo Shata Shanda Havo Shata. We have to recognize that we are special. We are royal priesthood, a peculiar and a holy nation. So I am highly favored. If you want to call me a drunk, call me no me highly favored. If you want to call me beside that, when I'm a child of the king, the songwriter said, my father is rich in houses and lands. He's got rubies, diamonds, silver, and gold. He's got his coffers full. But guess what? You know who I am. I'm a child. Shut up. We have to behave like a king. We have to behave like a royal priesthood. I stop behaving like wind. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Look at the person next to you and say, I'm special. And if you don't believe that I'm special, I know that I'm special because my God tell me so. Can I see the church? Worship the Lord, saints. 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 Hallelujah. Worship the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Oh, as I go to my seat in this time and age, we have to hold on to God. We know that it's hard right now, but we have to hold on to his unfolding hands. Sometimes in this hard way, in these rough times, it seems as if no one is there for us. But like Joseph, we have to hold on. It's very difficult, even when the times seem dark. But you have to hold on and let the word guide you in this dark world. Nothing else can help us if we don't hold on to God's word. It's a guide. It's a light to our feet and a pathway that we have to chart. We have to read the word of the word of God. Yes, sir. We have to encourage each other with the word. Bible said, therefore, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the fullness of his mind. Hold on and keep on encouraging each other with the word of God. We see that the devil is at hand. He's working what he can work. The Bible said, uh, iniquity uh, is at work. And he, that letter to elect, until the church is taken out of the way. And once the church is here, the devil cannot reign. Because the church has the power to tear the kingdom of darkness. They cannot touch the church. Because the church is here to stop them. Shut I in this pandemic because this is really a plan of the enemy where the church of the stand. The rock. Do you know what a rock is? A rock is a firm thing. And when you stand like the rock, the devil can't touch you. Some of us will be killed for the truth. Some of us will be persecuted for the truth. But guess what? We have to stand like a rock. We are special. And God set us here to tear the kingdom of darkness down.
Worship the Lord, say. Because we are in a pandemic. A pandemic that is off the adversaries. And the church cannot sleep now. But it's time for us to wake up Jonah. And say, Jonah, go to Nineveh. I'm going to make them mercy. If they don't repent, the city will be destroyed. That's the word. That's the word. Everybody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. And when we're doing it, ensure that we do it in spirit yes. and in truth. God bless Thank you. you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. When peace lies with Ten, ten, my way when sorrows when sorrows like sea oh yes hallelujah This first verse again, it is well when peace. Yeah. 
us as I just appeal to someone today who need Jesus. I simply give you Jesus. Jesus. I don't know what your tomorrow or your future home. God have not revealed that to me. But simply, he said in his words that no is the acceptable time. Today is the day of salvation. Ensure that you are ready for his coming. You hear his voice. Come to it. Respond to it. It's time just to surrender your life to Jesus. Give your life to him. Today is the day. Don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't put it off for our next service for you don't know when you don't know the hour or the minute he's like a thief that comes in the night if you knew when the thief will come wouldn't you be well prepared for it you will not be able to break into your house you don't know when Jesus will be back don't choose the wrong way today. Keep your life to God. Praise God. We're going to close this service right now in prayer. It is well. It is well. It is well. Before I pray one more time if you really need a change in your life Jesus is the answer that you are looking for he is the answer you might not realize but he is the answer you are not too young you are not in too much trouble your circumstances might be bad, but you can't fix it on your own. Jesus will do it for you. We thank you today for your presence. Lord, you have reached out to your people today. And you have ministered, Lord, and in encouraging them and let them know that they are highly favored. We thank you, God, for the speaker and for the word that you have placed, O oh God, in his mouth. And so, God, we pray that you rest your hands upon him, Lord, and that you will bless him continually. Lord, we pray, God, even as a church, that we come back to the heart of worship, where it's all about you. Oh, God, we sorry, God, for the things that we have done. But we want to say it's all about you. Father, we commit ourselves to you, God. As the speaker said, Lord, let us go back to that place of basic. Where we can forgive each other. And we can love each other, God. For you said, oh, can we love God? Hallelujah, and hate our brother. God, if anyone, Lord Jesus, even today, that Lord Jesus that is having this dilemma of Lord eating is raging or resenting, that a spirit of repentance will be upon us so that we may be able to find reconciliation and that we can prepare our hearts, O oh God, for your coming. For you say, Lord Jesus, in your words, if we forgive, Lord Jesus, you will forgive us. But if you, O oh God, if we do not forgive, hallelujah, you will not forgive us. And so, God, upon the authority of your word, 
We pray that it will go forth with much, Lord Jesus, for people to find that place of repentance so that healing, so that deliverance, and so that, Lord, we can break free. Bless us even now as a church. Bless those who have visited us, Lord God. Lord God, I pray that the word of God that they have heard, Lord, that the enemy will not steal it from their hearts. But God, that they will, Lord Jesus, it will germinate, Lord God, and find a place to lodge that it will bring forth fruit in their life. Lord, bless each and every, Lord God, hallelujah, member of this church and every saint. That God, Lord, that every person that is listening on social media, that the Spirit of God will make a transformation in their life. That those that are in depression mood, God, will be lifted. Those, God, that in need of a job will get a job. Those that, Lord, in need of a touch of healing for their body will receive and healing touch right now, God. And those that, Lord, need the Holy Ghost, whether they are here in this church or on their, oh God, city or in their kitchen listening, Lord, that the Holy Ghost will fall upon them. Lord, we believe you, God, for we need not to lay hands on anyone, but we believe that, Lord, faith commit by, commit by hearing and hearing your word. Bless us even now as we depart. Walk with us as we say thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can we just stand and we just say the benediction now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory. To the holy wise God, our Savior, be honor and glory, power and dominion, both now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let's praise the Lord, saints. We just have some cheers here. We just want to pray the Lord blessings upon them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks, Lord Jesus, for who you are. Oh God, every good gift come from above. And Lord Almighty, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for these two cheers, Lord Jesus, which has been presented to the church. Lord God, we ask you to bless them, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we ask, Lord Jesus, that they be used O oh God, to your glory and honor of your people, Lord Jesus. Bless and sanctify them, Lord God. Bless the givers also, Lord Jesus. O oh God, that their giving basket may be full in abundance. O oh God, that they will be able to continue to give, Lord Jesus. Bless and sanctify these years, O oh Lord, and just allow them, Lord Jesus, to be used to your glory and to your honor as we give you thanks for them this day in Jesus' name. Praise Amen. God. God bless you. God bless you. Remember, service continues this evening at 5 o'clock. Church continues saints at 5 this evening. God bless you. God bless you.